Almost a year ago to the day, an attractive woman at 37 left this semi in the heart of King's Cross for the last time and perhaps closed the door on her life. She had walked the streets of the cross for almost four years and was only too familiar with the development taking place down the road in Victoria Street. This was her greatest obsession. She wanted the project stopped. But that morning, on July the 4th, she ignored the work and went straight to the carousel restaurant for a business appointment. Then, just before lunch, she left and returned to Darlinghurst Street and climbed into a yellow falcon. At exactly 11.20, Juanita Nielsen was seen publicly for the last time. What followed is still a mystery, unexplained by months of police investigation. It's a terrible thing, really, to not to know, you know, to, not to know exactly what, ha what has happened. It was almost six years ago when Lyle Dudley met Juanita for the first time. She walked into his small real estate office wanting to buy the nice semi across the road. It wasn't much of a sale, but at the same time, he was negotiating one of the biggest deals of his life. Four and a half million dollars worth of property down the road. The very subject of numerous union bans and a continuing conversation brawl. But with the deal almost finalized, he gave little thought to the prospective buyer who was to become so vocal about the other development. The only thing that I remember was that the woman that lives next door went out to close her door one night and uh, Yanita said, she said to Yanita, you don't like the rats either, You're, she was shutting her door. And Yanita said, I'm not frightened of rats. She said, I've had a threat on my life. And the police were told this. Was that a common occurrence for Juanita, as you, as you recall? No, I wouldn't know. I only heard it verbatim from the woman next door, you know, that lived next door. Well, living directly opposite, or with your business directly yeah. opposite, what would you see her fairly frequently? What was your reaction then when you discovered Well, she was always very well-dressed, exceptionally well-dressed, and very, very quiet. You know, she, she never interfered with anybody, as far as I was concerned. 